Hi, good evening. Uh, this video is on dividing fractions. This should be page 24 in your notebook. So let's go ahead and get started. So with dividing by fractions, um, you can actually divide across just like you multiply across, but sometimes that actually doesn't work out very nicely. So what I've given you are some steps of how to divide fractions that don't work out very nicely. Um, so the steps go like this. Uh, you don't need a common denominator. You keep the first fraction the same. You find the reciprocal of the second fraction. You then multiply the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second fraction, and then you just follow your multiplication rules and simplify. So let's talk about what a reciprocal is. A reciprocal is t obtained by inverting the numerator and denominator. And another way to say invert is just to flip. So you're just switching the numerator and denominator. So let's look at two ninths. So if I find the reciprocal of two ninths, it's nine halves, so nine over two. If I find the reciprocal of one sixth, it's six over one, which then can be reduced just to six. 15, it doesn't look like it's a fraction, but we can put it over one because whole numbers go over one. So then I can flip those around. I can find I can invert the numerator and denominator and get 1 over 15. And then if I have a mixed number, I can change it to an improper fraction, which would give me 16. That would give me 21 eighths. And then the reciprocal of 21 eighths is 8 over 21. And we're going to use a reciprocal in just a minute. So let's go over here to these problems. So again, like I said at the beginning of the video, you actually can divide across if the divisor are factors of your dividend. So let's look at this. 5 divided by 5 gives me 1. 12 divided by 6 gives me 2. Pretty simple, okay? Because what you're saying is how many 5 6 are in 5 twelfths? Well, there's obviously half of them, because these are twice as big as this. A different way to do this, and we're going to get the same answer, is following the steps above. Okay, so we're going to keep the first fraction the same, we're going to find the reciprocal of the second, and then we're going to multiply them. So let's keep the first one the same. We're going to change it to multiplication, and then we're going to make this the reciprocal, which is six-fifths. All right, if I multiply across, I get 30. If I multiply across, I get 60. And 30 over 60 gives me 1 half. So I end up getting the same answer here and here. This is a lot quicker because I just divided across. But this is just kind of a trick to do. So let's just go up to number 2. <laughs> Again, I look at my divisor and I, and I, and I um, see if it's factors of the dividend. And 2 can divide 4, so 4 divided by 2 gives me 2. 9 divided by 3 gives me 3, so my answer is 2 thirds. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But then we get to problem number 3. Womp, womp, womp. 8 divided by 2 gives me 4, but 11 divided by 7 gives me 11 sevenths. Okay? And then we're going to have to do this kind of funky math, so let me show you. So 4 over 11 sevenths, but you can't have a fraction within a fraction, so in order to get rid of this fraction, we're going to multiply by 7, and then we multiply by 7. These 7s will cancel out. This will give me 28 over 11. Okay, so it's kind of funky, right? So as mathematicians, uh, some people came up with, okay, well, instead of dividing by fractions, we can actually multiply by its reciprocal. So let's do the steps from earlier. We're going to keep the first one the same. And then we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. And then you just multiply as normal. Now I'm going to go ahead and simplify before I multiply. I see that 8 and 2 actually have a factor of 2. So let me go ahead and take out a 2 and that's 1. Take out a 2 and that's 4. And then 4 times 7 gives me 28. And 11 times 1 gives me 11. And looky, looky, I get the same answer there. This is kind of confusing, so that's why they came up with that really cool trick of multiplying by the reciprocal. Okay. 
let's jump to number four. Oh, this one looks pretty nice. Three divided by one is three. 16 divided by four is four. So we know we're going to get three fourths, but let's practice the um, multiplying by the reciprocal. So we know we're going to get three fourths, but let's do it with, our, with um, the steps that we learned over here. So 3 over 16 multiplied by 4 over 1. All right, well, 3 times 4 gives you 12. 16 times 1 gives you 16. Reduce. They can both be divided by 4, so it gives me 3 fourths. Same answer, same answer. Okay. So multiplying by the reciprocal <coughs> does work. And sometimes, like I said, you're going to need it because you can't really multiply, you can't really divide across. Okay. But what if the numbers they give me are mixed numbers? What can I do? Honestly, it's not that much different. The only extra step you got to do is convert each mixed number to an improper fraction and then follow the rules as above. So let's convert this to an improper fraction. So that would be 5, that would be 6 fifths divided by 2 thirds. I'm going to look if I can divide across. And 6 divided by 2 is 3, so that's good. But 5 divided by 3 is going to give me a funky fraction in the denominator. So let me just do the trick of multiplying by the reciprocal. So this actually is going to be 6 fifths times the reciprocal of 2 thirds is 3 halves. And that gives me 18 tenths, which can be reduced down to 9 fifths. And if you want to change that to a mixed number, 1 and 4 fifths. Okay. This next one, um, I'm going to go ahead and change this to an improper fraction. So I get 3 fourths divided by. 7 thirds. Uh, I'm not going to divide across because 3 divided by 7 is going to give me 3 sevenths and 4 divided by 3 is going to be 4 thirds. So I'm going to have like a fraction within a fraction within a fraction. So instead of doing that, let's do the multiplying by the reciprocal. So 3 fourths times 3 sevenths gives me 9 twenty-eighths. And I can't reduce that, so that's my final answer. <laughs> Excuse me. And then the last section, how do you divide when it's whole numbers? Honestly, guys, whole numbers can be rewritten as a fraction if you just simply put them over 1. Okay. So this problem actually can be rewritten as 5 over 1 divided by 1 over 8. 5 divided by 1 is 5. 1 divided by 8 is 1 eighth. So let's do the trick of multiplying by the reciprocal. And that gives me 40. Okay. And then right here, we're going to change this to an improper fraction. So we get 5 thirds divided by 6 over 1. Well, 5 divided by 6 is 5 sixths, and then 3 divided by 1 is 3, so we don't want a fraction within a fraction. So let's do the multiplying by the reciprocal. So 5 thirds times 1 sixth, and that gives me 5 over 18. All right, so hopefully this video has helped you out um, with how to divide fractions. Again, if you can divide across, do it. If you can't, multiply by the reciprocal. So your homework is to go ahead, and I'm going to zoom on out. Your homework is to go ahead and do these 12 problems. These three word problems are division, so be careful of which one's your divisor and which one's your dividend. And good luck. Just um, don't forget to change your uh, proper fractions to improper fractions. And again, if you can't divide across, go ahead and multiply by the reciprocal. If you've got any questions, please put a question. Please put your comments down at the bottom of the video, or ask tomorrow in class. All right, have a great evening.